G'day guys and welcome to another one of my Digimon Re-Rise videos. So we're back again on Global Summoning. We are getting pretty low in our Digiruby stock here, but we're going to be summoning for Omega Shoutmon and uh, the Yellow Sequiamon, which have just dropped together in a banner. Um, not a step up like I originally said, that was a mistake. Uh, it's never been a, ste a step up, it's just a dual featured uh, banner here. Both of these Digimon are really, really solid. The Sequiamon is one of the best defensive Digimon in the game, and the Omega Shoutmon is one of the best uh, Clash Battle offensive Digimon in the game. Um, so they're both definitely worth having a crack at. Uh, in terms of should you go for this banner or Lovely Angemon first, it's kind of a toss up. Um, they're both like really solid. Shoutmon's really good for Clash Battle, like really. Ooh, Rainbow. Not getting too excited. I know what can happen with rainbows. <laughs> I've been... Okay. Now we can get a little bit excited. We're getting at least one of them. Oh, possibly both. Let's see how we go. Um, it's really weird. The Shoutmon is an... Oh, the Omega Shoutmon is an ultimate stage. So I actually don't know how that interacts with the orbs. But our first featured... Oh, that is spicy, spicy, spicy stuff. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Ooh, green Ragglemon. I'll take that. But, um, yeah, he's an ultimate love, so I don't actually know how that interacts with the orb. So you still need to get a rainbow because he's featured, or can he pop out in any of the orange orbs? Um, I don't really know how that works because they don't often have featured ultimates. So uh, we'll see how we go. We are going to jump back in again if this isn't... Yeah, it's not him. So we're going to jump back in again. So now we've got the Sequiamon, which personally is the one that I was looking for the absolute most. I'm, I'm, I'm really pumped. We're going to jump back in again for a copy of the Omega Shoutmon. Hopefully, that's a good multi. That green Ragamon is not fantastic, but super unique. I, I do like that Digimon. Uh, let's jump back in again. We're going for the Shoutmon now. Another copy of Sequiamon would not be useful. No ring. Blue, okay. Could be a dead multi here. Um, guys, you get the extra copy of Sequimon and the uh, Omega Shoutmon plugins from the DFQ, oh sorry, SDQ event. So make sure you grind that out. There's also some fancy um, ancient plugins that you can get for Shoutmon and Sequiamon in there as well, so make sure you grind that out and you get tons of bonus points if you have them in your team, so definitely worth it um, for that and the rewards are pretty good. As I said before, Sequiamon is a huge tanking beast, like ridiculously good and the Shoutmon hits some of the biggest numbers in the whole game in Clash Battle. He is kind of viable in PvP, but uh, because he's an ultimate, his stats are a little bit lower. Um, so it's definitely definitely a, a banner that you should consider summoning on. Yeah, it's kind of weird because he's the ultimate level. Where is he? Aero Vigimon champion. Have they? Where is the Omega Shoutmon? So interesting. So you can't get the champion form. Digivolves to Mega. No, no, that's not right. Of course he's not in the um, ultimate to Mega. Maybe he's down a bit further. He's not even in that list. What is... How have they done this? I'm trying to find out the rates for the uh, the shout one here, but... Oh, there he is, there he is. So it's Rookie to Ultimate. He's all the way down there. 1.5% standard. You can only pull him in Rookie form. There you go. I was like, dude, have they forgotten to put him on the banner or something? <laughs> yeah, alright. Nothing again. I still don't know if these orange orbs can have the shout one, but I believe that you have to get it from like a rainbow burst, like, like, like a normal feature digital, but I'm not really that sure. Not like mega sure, actually, but we'll see. Hey, look, if he, if he wants to pop out on any of these orbs, I'll be... Pretty friggin' chuffed, man. Like, no complaints from me. Um, the ancient plugins you can get are uh, um, Shoutmon gets, I think, regen, which isn't fantastic for him. Crit is definitely a better choice. 
And the Sequim on gets cooldown reduction, which is pretty spicy. It is minus speed though, so you need to um toss that up if you're gonna use her in PvP. I say her, it in PvP. <laughs> Um, I might jump back in with one more multi, guys. I can grind up some stones. Oh, yeah, I might grind up some stones and jump back in for one more multi. Hopefully, we can get some luck with the Omega Shout Mark. All right, I've got exactly on the dot 200 Digi Rubies. This is going to be the final multi for the video, so we'll leave it at a nice, what, 800. Blue butterfly is not fantastic. Blue red. Okay. Got a ramp. Ooh, animate. Ooh. Okay. So we're getting a featured here. Now I don't know because it's rainbow and with the ring, can it only be Sequimon? Or can the ultimate level um Omega Shoutmon still come from that orb? It'll be interesting to see. Look, we still got a 50-50 chance of uh, solving the riddle. If not, we'll never know. Oh, this is the shout one. I'm going to be... My global count is set for ages, man. I'd be absolutely wrapped if this is the Omega shout one. Come on, baby. Plus, this SDQ grind's going to be so easy if I have both of them. Bro, what a summon! 800, one and done, both featured. We're in and out, guys. Back into saving mode, baby. Back into saving mode. We've still got next week's PvP rewards which are coming out when I'm recording this in about two days. Bro, that is so good. 800 for both featured. We are absolutely cooking with gas, guys. We are on here. And there you go, that answers the question. Uh, if a Digimon finishes at ultimate stage, they can still come from a Rainbow Orb, or maybe they have to. Guys, let me know down below, how did your Omega Shoutmon slash Sequimon summons go? I'd love to hear it. And let me know, what kind of numbers is this guy punching out for you? And how tanky is your Sequimon? I'd also love to see uh, what kind of setups you're running them with. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!